You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, here we are, guys. Another episode of Madness in Sports. Another episode of a biological man going over and competing in female sports. But this case is actually a bit worse than that because this is a biological male that is competing against female children. I'm going to repeat that one more time in case you didn't understand me. This is a biological male, middle age, that is competing against 12 year old girls. This is insanity, but this seems to be the world that we're actually living in right now. And this sport is cricket. And cricket really did inspire baseball here in America. And trust me, folks, a grown man can cause physical harm to little children, especially girls, by playing in this sport. I mean, guys, if you watch baseball, you watch a guy like an Aaron Judge that can really, I mean, Aaron Judge, for one thing, is huge. He is a large man, tall, uh, in shape. When he hits the ball, he can crush it. Do you know the kind of damage a line drive could actually um, have if uh, Aaron Judge actually hit it and he was actually competing against uh, little girls? It can actually cause severe damage. People need to wake up to this madness that is happening out there in sports. You can't stay on the sidelines anymore. You just can't. I'm very, very disturbed that a grown man is competing against 12 year old girls. How is this actually allowed to happen? I have no idea. But it needs to end. Here we go on Breitbart. Transgender cricket player competes against girls as young as 12 years old. Unreal, guys. A middle aged biological male who identifies as a female is the source of controversy overseas as parents are upset with the male being allowed to compete in cricket matches against girls as young as 12. The Telegraph reported parents and coaches have reportedly sent multiple letters to the England and Wales cricket board demanding answers as to why the biological male is allowed to compete against their young girls. Well, if your letters aren't working, you need to step up your game on this. If they're just annoying you on this. In one letter, a coach claimed the transgender player hits the ball harder than any other I have seen in the league. Now, here's something that's very, very disturbing here. The transgender player also reportedly caused injuries to opponents and umpires in the past. One opponent that the transgender player injured, quote, was left unable to play for months. The Telegraph reported. Now, in this particular case, was this man playing against children? Could be. It doesn't actually uh, say that here. On this part right here. They're allowing this man to compete against girls. And he has been known in the past to cause severe injury. A player out for what? Months. Which means not one. But probably two or three, if not more. I mean. Please tell me that they're making this up. But I don't think they are. I don't think they are because this is the clown world that we're living in right now. I mean, it's been perfectly acceptable for the most part, it seems, where you actually have men going over to women's sports and dominating. But when I actually see someone get injured, you have definitely, definitely crossed over the line. 
This needs to end. One parent called the situation unacceptable, uncomfortable, and dangerous. Why? Because it is dangerous. I mean, what if one of these 12-year-old girls gets severely injured? I believe that um, this man should be arrested. Now, of course, this is uh, England and Wales, so I don't know what they would actually do about it. The parent of a 12 year old girl fears their daughter and her teammates would, quote, give up on cricket because they they become so frightened about having to face uh, bowling and fielding of that strength and force. Yeah, your daughter's going to get crushed. They're going to get crushed if they have to go up against a grown man. I mean, how how was this allowed to happen? That a grown man is actually able to compete against children. They should be disgusted with themselves. Now, quote, many girls at this age are only just starting uh, hardball cricket. And one incident is enough to turn them off the game. The parent added the ECB has some of the most lenient rules on transgender athletes, stating that, quote, Trans women may compete in any female only competition match, league or match, and should be accepted in the gender in which they present. See, now you now you open the door Pandora's box there. For grown men to compete against children. I mean, if this is what the rule states word for word. When it does right here, trans women may compete in any female only competition. I guess that means including children's sports. Wow. In light of these rules, the transgender players club reportedly objected to the suggestion that they would have to ask the transgender cricket player to hold back. What? Yeah. So the team refuses to actually object to this because of the rules. I mean, what? Still, ECB is reportedly reviewing its transgender athlete policy. And ECB spokesperson said uh, transgender participation is a complex area. No, it's not. They should not be competing against the opposite sets and especially against little children. It's not complex, but that's what they're saying here. It goes on in recreational cricket, the eligibility a players is based on their own self-identified gender with no medical requirements. OK. That opens up a lot of things right there. No medical requirements. So I guess no uh, testosterone uh, limitations or anything like that. So me as a grown man in my 40s. I can say, you know what? I actually feel like playing cricket right now. You know what? All of a sudden I'm feeling like a woman. Oh, there's a sports lead down there. Kids, let me go over there and let me beat up on some kids and get them injured. Yeah. And then I would actually be allowed to play. Yeah, this is the foolishness here. OK, it goes on. However, in light of guidance from the UK Sports Council's equality group, we are currently reviewing. We will continue to consult with Sport England and other independent experts and will communicate any changes once this work is complete. Doesn't seem like they're actually going to do anything. Uh, fair play for women's sports director Fiona um, McAnna praised the ECB for reviewing his policy, but urged them to enact more robust protections for girls sports. They're not going to do it. I mean, I highly doubt they would do it. I do because that rule is just flat out. Say right now, anybody can come over into, into a girl's sports and compete, including grown men. That, oh my goodness. Uh, quote, UK Sports Council's equality group state clearly that fairness and safety for women and girls are compromised if trans identifying males are in female teams. McKenna said it's good to see the ECB is reviewing its policy of letting males into women's uh, teams 
without restriction. If they want to protect and promote women's cricket, they must protect the talent pathway. The only way is to make female teams for those born female and no one else, she concluded. I mean, it's just that simple. It's just that simple. If you are a female child, you compete against female children. If you are a male child, you compete against male children. I mean, I don't even believe that you should actually have an adult male competing against boys. I mean, it's unfair. I mean, a fully grown man, of course, has went through uh, puberty. It's a fully developed muscular Whereas a little boy, you know, 12 years old, probably is just beginning, but just beginning puberty. Little girls. Oh, man, you'll just crush little girls. Something is wrong here. But this is the world we're living in. We're living in a clown world, guys, a clown world where a biological man can actually compete. No questions asked against little girls. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.